Do you do it? Yes. Okay, we're going to do an experiment today, and it's about how soap can affect germs. We're going to use pepper. That's going to be the germs. We're pretending that pepper is germs. So, Petra, why don't you take that pepper and sprinkle it on the water? Oh. Sprinkle it all over, all over the water. Shake it. Shake it a lot. Shake it a lot. She's getting a lot of pepper on there. That's good. Yep. Okay, you can probably stop now. It's a lot of little germs. Now, let's say that you washed your hands, but there was no soap on your hands. So just stick one of your fingers in the water. Just like that, just in the middle of the bowl. Stick it in there, just one finger. And does anything happen? Yeah. Not really, not really. Even now you have some germs on your finger. <laughs> okay, Put, try to swish that around in the water. Maybe it'll get off. Do it real quick, quick. Did you do it? Okay, leave it alone now. Just, Still there. just shake it off. Okay, now Let's get some soap. Let's get some soap. Let's put some uh, like on soap. Hold out your finger. But it's okay. Just hold out your finger. Okay. Now let's see if soap does anything to germs. Stick your finger right in the middle. Yes, it does. Wow. I knew what it would do. You knew it. Yep, it only works once. But the soap just shot all the germs away. Right? Yeah. That's pretty neat. It really has to do with the surface tension on the water and the It's okay if the soap the pepper gets the on tension. here even if it's not really germs. Right. Pepper is not really germs. But we were just pretending for our experiment. Ugh. Very good.